Hello! Welcome back to my workshop. This is going to be a quick review of this new soldering station, the Sugon A9. My TS100 stopped working on the display, so I can't see what temperature it's on, and I decided to get myself a proper soldering station. Now, I couldn't afford an actual JBC, so I went for the next best thing, a clone of it that can use the original JBC tips. So let's have a look at this Sugon A9 soldering station. This is what I brought, the Sugon A9, and, and it is a clone of a JBC. And it's even sold as compatible uh, with JBC tips and comes in uh, two different styles of hand grips. This one is for the 245 type tips. And then there's another one which is, I believe, for 210. The 210 are for more for very small minor detail work. When you buy it, it does come with a few options for tips. They're okay. I really do suggest that you buy original JBC tips. Just the difference in quality and the stability of the temperature is a lot better with the JBC. The other thing about the JBC tips is they literally have a tip for every single job that you could imagine. I've just got two. This one is, is a basic tip that I had before on the TS100. This one has a little hole in the end for drag soldering. And then the one that came with it is this chisel tip. As you can see, we have a digital display. We can change the temperature. We have three presets. It comes with a sponge. It comes with the copper cleaning. So when you first turn it on, it sits at about 150. You can change that. And then it has the conductive element on the hand grip. So we take it out, it heats up. Put it back in, drops back down. It's very quick to heat up. You'll note that there's a dot. So it goes up and then as the dot is flashing, it's stabilizing the temperature. So like I say, we can go three different settings, 350, 380, 310. If you want to change the settings, you just increase the temperature. Keep your finger on the channel that you want to store it in. Channel 1. That's now stored in channel 1. So 350, 320. Drop that back down. Store it on number 1. That is now stored in there. There is an option for calibration. You need a tip calibrator to do that and what the calibration does is allows you to set an offset so it thinks that this is at 300 when you actually measure it it could be at 280 so you can change the offset for each one to bring it down to what the actual temperature of the tip is rather than what this thinks it is you are supposed to do that every time you change your tip as well so this middle grill just here allows us to change the tips on the fly. We put it in and we pull it. We then put the tip in so far, push down on that part. That's our new tip in place. This tip is longer than the others, so it's a little bit more difficult to get it in. So that is one thing that I would say I didn't like about this station. If you've got some of the weird and wonderful JBC tips, they're, they're going to be a bit difficult to do the swap over. But you can see it's pretty easy to do the swap over. Same goes for the one that came with it. I don't have the calibrator, but if we hold set down, it's now allowing us to set the offset. And you can see that it's fluctuating plus or minus one degree. So that is pretty good. I don't know how to get out of it. I'm going to turn it off. So now let's put in the tip that came with it. So this is the tips that you would buy with it. Okay. 
turn it on. So now if we take it out, when we do that same routine, press the set to enter the calibration. You can see that the temperature range is a lot bigger than the original JBC. So 318. So we're going like plus 10, plus 11, plus 12. So that is why I'm saying to go with the original JBC tips they will last a lot longer as well. As far as soldering goes, it's fantastic. I really like it. The heater elements are actually in the tip, so it heats up really quickly, and it maintains its temperature a lot better. This is my old TS100, and that works in the same way. So the heater is in the tip, heats up very quick, very good to maintain its temperature depending on what you're doing. This was how I used to use it. So I had, an, I had like an old thing off an old soldering iron and I just had it on a bit of wood. So this is so much better. So would I recommend this? I would definitely recommend this. You're looking at about £100, but it's fantastic. Just having access to all of the JBC tips gives this a massive win, in my opinion. A lot of people are always going on about the Hakko, but this is comparable to the higher end Hakko, not the one that everybody uses. I had one of those and I sold it when I got the TS100. So far this has been reliable, it hasn't let me down. I like the soft flexible cable, uh, I like the grip on there. After a long period of soldering I did find that it started to get a bit warm if you were holding it towards the very end. The TS100 never felt that, it never felt like it was getting warm as you were holding it just there. But it wasn't uncomfortable it was okay. There is this flexible arm to lift the wire up. That's great. I wasn't too happy with this. This is plastic. I would imagine that the original JBC, that would be metal. So that's really my only gripe. That plastic part on the back. And it did get a little bit warm, but not too warm. Nothing that was, it wasn't uncomfortable. It's very nice to use over a long period of time. Very quick. Just pick it up. It heats up. Ready to go. Put it back down. Thumbs up from me, recommended product. You can find them on AliExpress. I'll put a link to the place that I brought it from so that you can grab one the same. I know somebody else has brought one of these now and they're also very happy. And they actually have an original JBC and believe they went with the 210 type, which is for the smaller rework. But so far, they're happy as well. All right, thank you for looking at that. As you can see, I'm very happy with it and it's doing a great job so far. I've been using it for a few months and I have no complaints, apart from what we saw with the tip change being a bit rubbish and that plastic connector. If I wanted to, I could get an original JVC hand unit, but this is working just fine. So I hope to see you again soon. I've got lots of long-term projects going on. I've just been insanely busy with work. I really haven't had time to do some of the things that I used to do in the past and I think that's just going to carry on. But there are projects working in the background and we will get to them eventually. So I'll see you soon.